एवरीवन आर टुडे टॉपिक इज रिसेप्टर्स एंड इट्स टाइप्स ना फर्स्ट लेट अस सी व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय रिसेप्टर्स रिसेप्टर्स आर द स्पेशलाइज्ड स्ट्रक्चर्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट इन द ह्यूमन बॉडी ओके नाउ देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ रिसेप्टर्स एक्सटरो रिसेप्टर्स व्हिच रिसीव द स्टिम्युलस from outside and intero receptors which receptors where receptors are present inside the body okay now we will concentrate on extero receptors now all of you know that we have five sense organ okay now these receptors which are present in the sense organ so sen they are also called as sensory receptors also okay they get stimulated by the external changes so they are called as extero receptors now let us see one by one the name of the receptor also the location also and its function also so what i have done here if you keep your hand like this okay the first uh, sense organ which is coming is the nose okay so i have written here nose then tongue is also coming then i have written here tongue then the nearby sense organ is the eye so i have written here eye then comes to ear so here i have written ear and the last is the skin so i have written in this manner in this sequence i have written okay so that it becomes very easy to remember the location also and the name of the receptor also so let us come to nose in case of nose or inside the nose olfactory epithelium means what the receptors which are present in the nose they are called as olfactory epithelium this is the location the receptors are olfactory receptors okay the name of the receptor is chemo receptors now in chemo receptors there are two varieties one is called as olfactory receptor another is called as gustatory receptors these receptors they are present in the tongue okay the location is tongue now where exactly in the tongue on the tongue we have test bud due to test bud we come to know the test okay so here for nose olfactory receptors for tongue gustato receptors okay now what is the function of these olfactory receptors okay we know that this olfactory word olfactory bulb which is present in the brain it is responsible for the smell so this olfactory receptors they uh, get the stimulation of approximately 10000 different smell we get due to this receptors these receptors they are present inside the nose now gustato receptors what is the location the location is test bud on the tongue due to these receptors we come to know many or different test like sweet salt sour and bitter these four test you are familiar but the fifth one umami it is totally new test okay this test approximately uh, the discovery of this test it is done in 1990th century and the test or the flavor of this test is it is like a meat or the soya sauce the test of umami okay it is like a meat those who eat non veg okay its test is different or soya sauce we know the test of soya sauce also okay so for umami we have different receptors which test or which identify this test now come to the next sense organ that is eye where exactly eye retina of the eye it is the innermost layer of the eye okay with the help of which you get or you see all the things here the receptor is called as photo correct it is very easy to remember photo receptors and what is the function vision vision means you can see the things 
okay all around you because of this receptor now come to ear in case of ear it is having two different receptors okay one is phonoreceptor and other is statoreceptor phono phonoreceptor means it receive the sound statoreceptor it is responsible to maintain the balance or the equilibrium okay the liquid which is present inside the ear now where exactly the locations are present phonoreceptor organ of corti it is also present inside the ear and semi circular canal it is also the part of ear okay so these two are the locations now come to skin okay thermoreceptors why thermoreceptors because they are related to either heat calorie receptors or cold trigido receptors mechano receptors they are responsible to get the or we can uh, have the feeling of touch or we are having sensation for pain also pressure also it is all due to mechano receptors so here you will remember the name of the sense organ here you are going to remember the name of the receptor or the type of the receptor and here you are going to remember function of receptor also and this is these all are the types of extero receptors extero the name itself indicate extero means external stimulus okay then for how to remember these names sense organ you can remember okay first nose okay then tongue then eye ear and skin okay but how you will remember name of the receptors so here one short uh, very small sentence i have given you so with the help of which you can remember the name of the receptors let us see here see chemo receptors click okay photo here also photo receptor is there in hmm? phone so here also phono receptor is there and send here s is there s for stato receptor 2 t for thermo receptor and m m for mechano receptor so i'll read the sentence click photo in phone and send to me so here the initial letters you are going to remember now we will study interoceptors now what do you mean by interoceptors we have studied that receptors are of two type one is called as exteroceptors and another is called as interoceptors okay what do you mean by interoceptors the interoceptors which receive the stimulus or the signal coming from within the body itself in case of extero receptors the stimulus are coming from the environment but here the stimulus it is coming from the body itself or within the body itself okay so there are three types of interoceptors the first one is called as enteroceptors here i is there and here e is there okay enteroceptors what is the location from internal body organs we have different body organs okay so all these body organs they are having receptors and what is the function of these receptors due to these receptors we feel hungry we feel thirsty also we can feel the sensation like pain and we can have the sense of osmotic pressure also that is the balance of salt and water okay so this is about enteroceptors what do you mean by proprioceptors the location is it is present in joints muscles and tendons okay what is the function of these receptors they can detect the changes which are present in joint muscle and tendon and it is responsible for the movement 
okay with the help of muscles with the help of bone with the help of joint we can move because of the receptors which detect the changes and come to last baros receptors which is also called as mechanoreceptors okay where exactly they are present they are present in the wall of atria blood vessels okay vena cava aortic arch carotid sinus so inside the blood vessel these receptors are present and what is the function of these receptors they can detect the changes in bp that is blood pressure and they are responsible for maintaining homeostasis homeostasis means the maintenance of internal environment now how to maintain internal environment either by vasodilation vaso means blood vessel and dilation means it the diameter it enlarge okay vaso constriction means the diameter of the blood vessel it constrict means it reduces when diameter reduces blood pressure increases when diameter increases vasodilation the blood pressure it decreases and hence it is responsible for homeostasis